can hear in the distance a faint noise, but there is major construction going on at my mom's house right now. So I have locked myself in the upstairs bathroom with like every door closed. I like tried to put towels under the door so that you guys can't hear it. And so it is kind of echoey for this video. I apologize in advance, but I just like, I really wanted to film me getting ready for the Justin Bieber concert because I have been waiting for this concert for three years now and I'm just so excited. So let me set you guys up. I just wanted to preface this by letting you guys know there is a little bit of noise and I'm gonna try and talk over it and there's kind of an echo, but we're gonna get going. Why is the lighting in here killing me, you guys? Like I have this full mirror and in the mirror, I look great. I have this lighting, but you guys can't tell because it's giving me some weird shadows. I need you to know what you're wearing and then I'll wear the tight shirt. I am going to do my makeup yeah, that's and, what I'm saying. So once you figure it out, I'm and then do. I will try them on, and I'll send you okay. photos of how I feel. Probably just gonna do something really simple, but I need to get started because I'm supposed to be leaving in less than an hour, and this is what I look like, <laughs> and I haven't done my hair. No, don't tell me I shattered all of this. I'll literally be heartbroken. It's all okay. Oh my god. I just dropped like every single powder that I own. Wow. We are officially getting into it. So we've had these tickets for over three years now um, because obviously with the pandemic and everything, the show just kept on getting delayed. So we really just like didn't have um, obviously the opportunity to go until 2022 and I'm so excited we've got um, some floor tickets which I am just like so freaking thankful for I'm like excited that I even get to go I've been to every Justin Bieber concert that there is because I've been a fan since the beginning okay I'm an OG and I don't care what anyone says yeah been to all of them so that's the reason I'm coming to the Texas show like the Houston show is because I bought these like three years ago with my mom and my sister and we had all already planned to go together so that's why I like flew back for it but I'm really excited that we're getting to go because my mom and my sister are like just as big Justin Bieber fans as me so it'll be a lot of fun. Unfortunately, my mom obviously got injured and so it's a little bit hard for her on her crutches still, which a lot of people don't understand. She still like very much can't walk. Um, ever since she broke her hip running a marathon, running the New York Marathon in November. So since November, my mother has not been able to walk. She like has to be on crutches. Well, for a while she, um, couldn't like really walk at all and then now she's on crutches which is great but she was hoping that she would be feeling better by the time the concert came and obviously that's not the case right now so that's just like sad also um, I hope it's fine that I'm gonna be wearing a lot of rare beauty products to this concert <laughs> I was just thinking about that like I don't know it was just like a thought that I was having like me doing a get ready with me for a Justin Bieber concert which I love him the most, you know? But obviously, I love Rare Beauty. Like, I love Rare Beauty. I love everyone. I love Selena. So, please don't take me off the PR. <laughs> I'm going in with this Forever Skin Glow by Dior. I am obsessed with this foundation. When I, like, just don't even want to worry about what I look like, I don't want to worry about my foundation, my coverage, is it going to stay on? Am I going to look snatched? This is the foundation that I go in with. It is the Dior Forever Skin. It is amazing. It's so glowy. It has like the perfect amount of coverage. I also had literally zero pimples up until yesterday when I landed in Texas. Like I immediately break out here because of the humidity. I haven't decided my outfit and I wish that I would have like filmed the outfit portion of this, like me trying on all my clothes prior to the concert so that I could post them for you guys and you guys could tell me like what to wear because I just don't know what to wear. I have a bunch of different outfits which I'll show you like after I get ready but my outfits that I have are very different. So one of them is like dressy, it's like a little set, not dressy, 
but like it's a little bit more put together dressy. And then one of them is a lot more cash, but it's also still really cute. I just like don't know what route I wanna go because dressing up for concerts is like one of my favorite things. It doesn't matter if it's just a beaver, it doesn't matter who it is. I love dressing up for concerts. Like I think it's so fun. So when I was like planning my outfit, I was like, what am I going to wear? Charlotte Tilbury per huge, as you guys know. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm gonna be bronzed to the gods. I just can't believe there's all of this construction going on in my house right now. Like I can't deal with it because I really wanted to like vibe and just have a, I don't know, just like a chill, serene moment. I have so much traveling coming up in the next couple weeks. Like I've been coming home a lot more recently because I've just had so many different family things. I came back last week. Um, it was my nephew's birthday party. Uh, what else was it? My nephew's birthday and then it was Easter. So I came back for Easter and then stayed for my nephew. And then I went home for four days back to LA. I came back here for the concert and then I'm going home tomorrow. And then I come back next weekend because it's Mother's Day, obviously. So I'm gonna spend Mother's Day with my mom. And then I'm going to Tulum shortly after that for Louise's wedding. So I'm really excited about that because I've never been to Tulum, but it's just a lot of traveling. Also, I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I think it's in the shade Birch. I did a little bit of this because I don't want to have any like white cast. At concerts, you're always taking photos with the flash on because it's dark in there. Um, and so I just don't want to have a white cast at all, which I probably will because I don't know if like I always do. Oh my gosh, the drilling stopped, God bless. You guys see how glowy this foundation is? Like it is so stunning. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. And this mirror that I'm using, I will link it because it is so freaking bomb, you guys. Like I am in love, I'm in love. Um, okay, and then I'm going in. I do all the cream products first. Um, I'm going in with this Rare Beauty um, blush in the shade Lucky. So I'm gonna just give it a little dab. I kind of go heavy with this because by the time you blend it out, it's like super blended. And then I also go in with bronzer and I do setting powder and it kind of like gets a little bit covered up. So I like to like see how easy that blends out. I do like the smallest bit, but it's like so pink and so cute. I love, love, love the shade of this blush. So cute. I'm still getting used to styling my hair because now I have like these little like short bangs kind of. So I brought my Dyson Airwrap because I finally bought the Dyson Airwrap. You guys know um, if you've been here for a while, I've been um, wanting a Dyson for over a year and I finally just caved and bought it and I really love it. And I just am like finding it a lot easier to style my bangs, style my hair like my hair right now. I did the Airwrap on it two days ago and like it's still curled. It's so amazing. I love it so much. So. I'm really liking that right now. I'm just gonna set right there on my under eyes. And then I'm gonna take my all over like glowy powder and set the rest of my face so we can do some bronzer. I've been setting my face way less and I always get compliments now on my makeup and you're like, oh my gosh, how does your makeup look so good? Why? I promise you guys say that I didn't just compliment myself. But I always get compliments now. And it's like, oh my gosh, what are you doing with your makeup? Like, it looks so good. It's literally just, I don't set it very much anymore. I like very lightly do it. So I just take that under eye powder and I continue to rub it in with the rest of my makeup. And it just ends up still looking dewy. So I don't have to like set my whole face. See how the blush gets like washed out once I do all this powder? It just kind of like settles. I do my makeup so fast now you guys i feel like i'm a pro um i mentioned this on an instagram story but um i mentioned it maybe a month ago that i was working on rap merch and i am and i got the first drafts of my rap merch back so i'm getting the designs all in place and then once they're done i'm going to just like find someone who will be able to make it for me and distribute it out to you guys I've never had merch before. Like, I've never been the type of person that would want, like, Keaton Milburn merch with, like, my face on it or something. But, like, I just felt like it would be so funny. I love designing clothes anyway. And, like, having, like, 
from their own designs and so I just thought it would be a good idea and I got so many messages from you guys being like yes like I love the idea of having the wrap merch so we're coming out with it soon I've been calling you guys rats for long enough that I think it's time we get some merch going and I'm really excited when I get to uh post more of it I'll probably post like sneak peeks of design concepts because I want you guys input like there's a bunch of different options I have and I want you guys to kind of help me pick what you guys think will look best. Also, I'm using the outer glass um, bronzer in, I think it's ambient bronze, but how would I ever know? Like actually, there's no name on the back of this, but it's my favorite bronzer, clearly. I love outer glass products. So anyway, I'm doing all over bronzer right now. I'm coming in with this rare beauty blush again. This is in the shade Nearly Berry and it's a cream blush. And I just take my brush and just go in over tops of my cheeks. It just like brings back that color. Cause again, like once you do the cream underneath, I feel like it gets kind of lost, but I still like it underneath because I like to mix these two colors together. And then of course we have to do the nose. I'm so sorry for the noise. Like I hate that. I go in with this Bare Minerals Brow Gel and just brush it up a little because I feel like I messed my brows up. I really hope Haley is there. Honestly, truly, I hope she's there. I feel like maybe she will be since it's like Houston. I feel like celebrities like to come to like fun cities and I think Houston's a fun city. Now what I'm going to do, I haven't done this in like a minute, but you guys know I always love to like bake the underneath of my cheek. So I'm just going to do that right there. Just to give me like a little, I don't know, the nose. <laughs> the nose is, is getting slim. I don't want anything crazy for eyeshadow. Like I normally would, <laughs> I look insane with this nose contour. I normally would like do something a little bit more fun, but I'm not really like, I don't want to do anything crazy, so I'm just going to do a simple brown eyeshadow and then I'm going to smudge out my lash line with some black eyeliner just to give it like a little bit of like a smokier look. The best eyeshadow palette ever is this Makeup by Mario Max palette. I always take some little brown and I just put it in the crease and blend it out. I was gonna do a wing, but I'm not really like feeling it. You know when you see it on like um, TikTok and it's like me thinking, like me at 13 going to the One Direction concert thinking I was gonna, like thinking Harry was gonna pull me backstage or like something like that. I used to like always think like that. Like not necessarily about Justin Bieber, but I really thought that about, um, <laughs> my camera cut out, but I really thought that about Harry Styles. Like I really thought, me at like 12 years old was going to go to a Harry Styles concert and like, or like a One Direction concert. And like Harry would be like, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. And then it's like the photo of you at 13, like you look insane. Like that's just what's wild to me. I never really thought that. I don't know why I never really thought that about Justin Bieber, but um, I definitely thought it about One Direction. I was a huge One Direction fan. Um, so I just always assumed he would like, Harry would love me and like want to be with me. Obviously not the case. He just hasn't met me yet, that's all. Oh my God, I hope I brought my eyeliner. Don't tell me. Oh, it's right here, thank God. Okay, this is the best like eyeliner. It's so creamy and so good. It's Pat McGrath's um, eyeliner. It's her Perma Gel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in Extreme Black. So what I love to do with this is I love to go on, oh my god, I have eye booger, get that off. Okay, I go right here, which I know you're not supposed to like pull your eyelids, but like just like, I don't know, I mean, I do it, so. I'm gonna have wrinkles and that's just what it's gonna be. So I do a really thin line on my eye like that, and then I'll just take, I don't know, what kind of pencil, just like a buffer pencil, I guess. Oh my gosh, why do I have so many uppers? And I'll just go over it. This is like the only eyeliner that blends out like this and like gets smudgy to where I can like have a really sunny, sunny, subtle, smoky, like liner look. It gives me that, I don't even know, like it just like looks so natural. Like see how it now it blends in with the rest of my eyes. I just feel like it looks so cute that way. 
I love the way it looks. I think it's really fun. It's a really easy way, like if you like don't know how to like do a smoky liner or a smoky eyeshadow or something. I don't know, I think it's a good way to do it. So I just do a little line here. All right, we're gonna smudge her out. That's what it looks like. We've got just the brown of the crease and then the liner is just like all smudged out. So it just adds a little bit more. I don't look just like I have basic eyeshadow, I guess. Wiping away all this bakage. Of course, we're gonna spray our face with my favorite milk makeup spray. Woo! You guys, I was on the plane yesterday and I watched that Marilyn Monroe doc documentary on Netflix and it was insane and I started crying on the plane just because like, I don't know, it's just really watching like her life and like hearing some of the things that she'd been through and she had such a like hard time and you can definitely tell like she had so many mental health issues and i just feel like for the time period that like, people just didn't know how to deal with that how to deal with fame what to do and like she just like ultimately ended up i don't know i, I don't think i can say on the word but it just made me really sad. She had so many issues and like no one really knew how to help her and that's just like so upsetting and I'm so like thankful that now in our society we have a lot more open conversation about mental health. Um, if you guys didn't know, May is actually Mental Health Awareness Month. So I don't know, I, I just feel like it's really cool that we have such an open conversation about it now and hopefully it can like become more accessible to people being able to go to therapy and stuff because I think going to therapy is like a luxury. And I was just watching Marilyn Monroe's documentary and I was just thinking, you know, she just needed someone to help her. I mean, she did have a psychiatrist and stuff, but it's like, she just needed, she just needed someone. She was just like so sad. And that's so sad. This video, I don't want to make it like, you know, kind of emo, but I was just thinking about it because I just watched it yesterday and it just made me think, I don't know. Um, okay, I'm gonna keep on going like this. That way I know that my face is semi-set with powder. The only thing I'm missing now is lips and mascara. 325, oh my God. Mm. I'm late, but I'm eating my candy. Mm. This is so good. I love toffee. My mom and my sister are already dressed and sending me photos of what they look like. So it's really great. I literally wish you guys were like here with me right now to help me pick my outfit because I'm really so torn on what to wear. I feel like I know exactly, oh my God, the mascara is dripping everywhere. But I feel like I know what I'm leaning towards. I just wish, you know, you guys were here for validation because it's really hard. It's really hard to pick it by myself. I like need you guys help. But like sometimes I will post like polls and I'm like, what do you guys think? And then you guys will pick the item that, or the outfit that I don't like. And I'm like, sorry, I'm not wearing that. I also don't know what I'm doing with my hair. Am I gonna put it up? Am I going to leave it down? What do we do? I left my lip liner in the other room, so I'm gonna have to add that on here in a minute, but I'm going to go put my first outfit on and then show you guys and then try and debate and see what I'm going to wear, but I'm kind of struggling right now, like mentally trying to figure this out. I also kind of like my hair in this ponytail, but I don't know if it's the vibe. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go try my outfits on and then I'll be back. All right, you guys, I think this is my outfit. I kind of just had a little breakdown over it because I'm not really feeling it. Um, it's really cute. I'm just not feeling my cutest self just because it's like, I don't know. This is what I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear. Um, I'm wearing this set from Tiger Mist. The set is super adorable. I feel like it's like a really good vibe. I feel like it fits the concert vibe it's just like i'm not used to wearing like a like i've worn corsets but like i don't know this one just feels a little bit like i'm like busting out and i just don't want to be like that person at a concert busting out you know what i mean like i don't know so i'm gonna add some jewelry i'm gonna finish like fixing my bangs and then once i do that i'm gonna see if this is what i want to stick with i mean it is really cute it's just i don't know i just wish that i loved it more you know because it is a really cool pattern and like as a set it's really sick it's just you guys see what i mean by like 
It's just not as flattering. We are on our way to the Bieber concert. The dress, my sister is doing her makeup. I also just realized that I look like Justin Timberlake or Britney Spears when they wore those jean outfits, those matching jean outfits. It's like exactly what this <laughs> like looks literally. like. Like with these bangs and with this hair, it's just like a lot for me right now. Um, but we were just talking about well, my sister and my mom love and sync. Like, love and sync so much, but they also love Justin Bieber, like, just as much as me. But my sister was telling about the first time that she saw, right, or heard of. Just like, NSYNC. even knew who what in sync was or that they existed. And so I was telling them, or I was going to tell them, how the first time I ever found out who Justin Bieber was, because I, like, vividly clearly remember this yeah, moment I, know, like, where were you? I was at Bryce Cooper's house oh I was on Bryce I was at Bryce's house in Louisiana okay. and because I would always go over there and we would just hang out and she was like I have to show you because how how much older is Bryce than me she's not that much older I like only like a couple of years right but like I just always remember she was a little bit older than I was mm -hmm. and so she like knew the cool stuff yeah and she was like I have to show you this guy that I found on YouTube and he is so sexy she was like he's so sexy and I was like really young so I was like oh my god like he's sexy like I was like I'm dead <laughs> and like, she show me now pulled up his usher video like the videos like in like Canada own, like OG like he like was Scooter singing Braun was yes at them like at the same Scooter Braun was looking at them at the same time <laughs> and she was like you found he, him yes she was like, he's coming out with a song called One Time because it was like during like he was uploading like that he was like gonna release music, I guess. But it wasn't even Baby. Like it was literally One Time, that like first yeah. one that he did. And she was like, he's gonna come out with it. And I was like, wow, like he's really cute. Like he's like, very I beautiful. Love him too. Yeah, I was like, oh my God, I love him too. And really then we cute. sat there for the whole rest of the night and we just watched his entire YouTube channel and it was his, you know, his control or whatever it was. But we watched it all, and I just thought it was the greatest thing ever. Love and at first sight. Yes, it was. And then one time came out, and I was like, "I'm dead. I have to leave right now." It was really the best moment ever. And I've been a believer ever since. And that's all. That's all I know what about that. that you remember like, the first time you saw him? Like in concert? Yeah. Yes. At the rodeo. At the rodeo. That was and the you first know, time he was opening. Should have for Selena Gomez. Yes. He, he wasn't even a headliner. He was just he was like opening for Selena. And I remember oh, he, yeah. because yeah. he he was opening for Selena openers. Gomez. Not at the rodeo. He had, two, he had like three songs. It was like Baby. Yeah, because my because he sang song. Usher, and we were like, people. yes, yeah. because he like sang all of his covers that he had on YouTube. And I remember being like, oh my god, but he sang like that's I was our dead. Favorite song. I was, was dead. The, should you post a little clip of you at that other concert? You need to insert it in your like like. Of you screaming with those glasses on? Oh, oh, I fully will. Like, okay. I probably will do it after. You know, on, you know, on important days of your life, you want to be you want to look good. good and you want to feel good. This is like my wedding. That's what I was worried time. about. To look good. That's why I kept telling you, like, I don't want to put a cute outfit on and want and have people thinking like, oh, she thinks like she's Baby's gonna, gonna look, look good natural. for Bieber because that's not what I think. I think that I want to personally feel cute at this concert. Exactly. That's what I think. I don't exactly. even know. Easton said that he's gonna pull me up on stage and I'm gonna be one less lonely girl. <laughs> I told Vic. You didn't do that. I, I told. Oh my god. Violence. What are they doing? Wow, they're, they're like, waiting. Oh, in. They're waiting for Bieber? He's gonna drive in right there. But I told him it's not even on his set list. He's not even doing well. So he was like, you need medication. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, these people are ready. Do we need to wait out here with them? This like, is the parking garage we're in. We'll so. pick you up and oh, so we're gonna be with Bieber. I am freaking out, you guys. We're so close. <laughs> Look at us. Oh my god. We're so close. We're so close. Oh my gosh you guys i'm home i have this pimple right here and i put self tanner on it and now it's super dark and prominent but anyway um i'm home from the concert my voice is semi gone like i kind of have it but it's just like really scratchy from screaming so much 
but it was so amazing like our seats were so incredible which is really cool because we got these seats three years ago as i said and so every time that the show would get postponed and like move to a different date it would switch our tickets around so like we would always end up like either further back on the floor or really close like i don't know it was just kind of like a gamble and like what we would get so we were kind of nervous on how they would look and how everything was going to be set up but it was so perfect we had great seats and the show was really really awesome he sang so many freaking good songs i wish Haley would have been there because i just wanted to see Haley. but um yeah it was just really really great and it's 12 o'clock right now uh i fly home tomorrow so i just came in for the show and i'm leaving to go back to la tomorrow i really need to get better at vlogging so i will try my very hardest to get better at that just for you guys because I just feel like I slacked off this month with traveling. It's like really hard, so I need to do better. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, I'm gonna include some clips that I posted from my Instagram story on old concerts that me, my mom, and my sister went to because as I said before, we have been huge fans of Justin Bieber since the very, like, OG OG beginning like when he was still doing covers on YouTube like when he had literally like no songs out maybe one time so like we have been just following his career and his life for so long and so it's really cool to be able to like continue to go to his concerts as we're older <laughs> And like see him and so I have some really funny clips from like when I was like 10 or 12 maybe and um, I'm like screaming my head off at Justin Bieber I'm dying over him and my sister is too which was so funny because me and my sister's age difference is eight years so she would always be like when we were when I was like really young she would always be like oh my god like this is so embarrassing how in love with Justin Bieber I am because he's so young like I feel so weird like loving him and now that we're both older it's like totally normal because obviously like it's not a weird like age gap now or anything so it's just really funny but yeah I don't know we had so much fun and I hope I can go see him on another tour after this like whatever whatever his next album is i would love to see him again like this tour again maybe in another state so maybe i'll do that i don't know i know he's going to madison square garden so that'd be really cool but anyway i'm just blabbing now thank you guys so much for watching this video give it a big thumbs up if you guys liked it don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok i post so much over there um you guys don't want to miss out so i will see you guys later bye